Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making my last soap of the day. I am working on Valentine's Day soaps. My husband has been hanging out with me um, all of these, except for this one. He's had to leave me for this one. The children have gotten into mischief and need some, well, let's just say he's supervising some chores right now. Which is my life solution with my silk. And I already have my clay in here. I'm going to add my cream. So let's just stay, stay with kids. Silence is always a bad sign. They were out in the room right next to us where we could see them doing just fine. And then all of a sudden we realized they were gone and it was silent. And they were doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing. And they knew it. And they were shocked that we caught them. They thought we were still in here. I can't remember if I said, but that was just my cream. And the scent that I'm using for this one is called Pink Sugar. I can't remember the description of this one, but it smells really good. It's like, I think it's a Victoria's Secret dupe. Blend it up in there. So I pound up my bubbles and I still end up with bubbles. I don't know. I, I guess I've just learned to embrace the bubbles. It's not something that I've really... That's really bothered me ever. It's handmade. It's not perfect. So I'm doing mostly pink with a little bit of purple. And then the base batter, I'm going to leave natural color. And what's going to happen is it's going to turn brown. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. Make sure I've got a nice trace on this. I don't want to pour it too thick, but I don't want to pour it too thin either. I'm just going to do a drop swirl. video. Um, my husband and I moved the camera and we moved the tripod and trying to get it up higher and he was guiding me earlier and Oops. like I said I'm on my own right now. the third batch that I've done tonight, the last one that I'm doing today. And my first batch got so thick, like pudding, and my last two have just been like this. They're just, I mean, if you can see that, water. Which is great for some techniques. 
But with this, I want a little bit. I mean, I would like some trace to it. I don't want everything to just mix together. I don't know. All right. Well, that one has a little bit of trace to it. Maybe it's because there isn't any color in it. And I'm just using micas in these. Oh, my stick blender is so hot right now. My last batch, I just had to blend and blend and blend. I couldn't get a trace on it at all. I did eventually, but my goodness. Which is the way it goes. When you don't want a thick batter, you can't get it to thicken up. And when you need a thin batter, it's still going to stick. All right, so go ahead and oh, see, it's just so liquidy. I mean, I know it's blended and it's emulsified, so it's not going to be a problem with the batter at all. I'm not worried about that. Put a lot of pink in that first pour. And that was a nice big glop. Okay, I know that before I do anything else, this is going to have to sit for a couple of minutes before I can do the top. I mean, anything I do now is just going to sink to the bottom. So I'm gonna pause and I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Oh, that's set up pretty fast. That's good. I'm just gonna drizzle stuff on top. I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos, but I've been doing flat tops on everything. Um, right now, I just am enjoying the flat tops. I think I have enough to make a layer, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't know. I kind of wonder what everybody else thinks. If you like the flat top or the, uh, the peaks better. But on the bigger bars, I just think it looks really nice. Scrape every bit out. This is a really light fragrance. It's not overpowering. It's not, it's really hard to describe. It's kind of warm, but fruity. I wouldn't call it floral. I don't know what I would call it. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of romantic, if that makes sense. I can tell you when my husband opened the bottle, he said, you're making this tonight. <laughs> so, 
Yes, I am. I'm making this tonight. I just ordered a whole oh, cup. Look, it got... Well, I had to cut through it, but it got really thick. I mean, it was just liquid a minute ago. I mean, if you can see that, it's just not even going anywhere. I'm not complaining. It's totally fine. I just think it's funny. I need a different spatula here. his toys. It's just not going his way. In fact, I'm going to shut the door. The whole family is out there with him. So he's not alone or anything, but he's at that age where, you know, he has temper tantrums for everything. I think I saved too much for my tops. Oh well. I'll spread it out here in a minute with my my skewer. So the purple. So I did three, I would call them feminine scents today. I do have, I did, I just got a humongous order of fragrances. And I have actually more men's scents than women's scents planned. I have some unisex as well. I would say the amaretto. Let me call unisex, but that's not gonna work. Smelling it like now, I would say it's more of a um, feminine type scent. In my opinion, I just did amaretto, if I didn't mention that. But um, I have, like I said, a bunch of mint scents that are coming soon. I'm going to do a bunch of uh, beer soaps. I'm just tickled about how the last one came out. It was just a lot of fun to do, and it looks really cool, it smells really good, and it feels simply amazing on the skin, in my personal opinion. So, alright. Smack this down. So, when this is done, when I'm done with the glitter, don't turn off the video because I attach all of my cutting videos to the end of my making videos. It's just, I think, easier to find. You don't have to search for them on my channel, and I'm only uploading, whoops, uploading one video. Which saves me time. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm kinda going a little deep. Let me see if I'm in the camera. Because if I disturb the layer below, that's okay. And of course, I don't have a name for this yet. But um, I do have a cure date. It will be cured January 26th. I will, of course, have it on the site for pre-order, which has been necessary for some of the soaps that I've had lately. Uh, they sell out before they're even listed. 
which is kind of fun for me. It means I have to make more soap. Okay, it's a little bit of glitter. Gotta have the glitter. Trying not to dump out too much at once, but it's hard to tell in this lighting. And that's the problem with where I live. It you know it gets dark by four, four thirty. So there isn't really a whole lot of daylight, which is why all my videos are in the dark right now. But here you go, um, an amaretto fragrance soap. And stay tuned, and the cutting will be right here. Okay, here is my pink sugar. You can see the top, but take a peek at the side here. If you can see that, it's really starting to brown. It's kind of an ugly color at the moment, but that is not the final color by any means. I looked up the scent. It is described as a fruity blend of cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel, and raspberry with a hint of musk. Um, I don't like musk. I hate musk. The smell of musk. I don't smell a hint of musk in this at all. And I couldn't say that I smell cotton candy or lemon drop or anything in that. It's, um, oh, I can't even describe it. I mean, warm and sugary and I can pick up the caramel for sure. But, you know, like I said yesterday, it's a pretty sexy scent, I think. Um, romantic but you can see this yellow here I'll show you the other end piece um, this is going to continue to darken it is going to turn brown and we're talking brown so it could be you know it could take a couple of weeks before that happens so it's really hard to tell what this is going to look like right now the pink and the purple will stand out more later so look past the fluorescent yellow and the funny brown color because that is not the color this is going to stay it's kind of fun watching the soaps change every week they look a little different until they're fully cured But the name of this soap, oh, I forgot it. Oh, no, I didn't. It's Electra. I wanted something that was feminine. Electra is a star. Um, yeah, it's a star found in the Taurus constellation. I don't know if you care about that, but it's something that I look at when I'm naming my soaps. I want the name to be appropriate. And here's the last bar. So this will be cured January 26th and available for pre-order at StargazerSoaps.com. I don't know how quickly that will be because Christmas is just in a week and I'm a little overwhelmingly busy right now. So um, it might be a little while before I can get these cleaned up and get pictures. But anyway, keep an eye on the website, uh, StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching.